From a walk-on to a starter and now the NFL draft, it's been quite the journey for quarterback Aiden O'Connell, but it's a journey he wouldn't trade for the world. O'Connell says he's been dreaming of this moment ever since he was a little kid, and now that it's here, he has a wide range of emotions. But one thing is for sure, he can't wait to see what lies ahead. Feeling very excited, uh, definitely nervous too. Uh, probably the most mix of emotions I've ever had before, just um, a lot of obviously exciting stuff and fun stuff, but also, you know, it's a job and there's hard parts to it. And one of the hardest parts O'Connell has been learning throughout this process is being comfortable with uncertainty. He says he's the type of person who prefers to be on a schedule and know things ahead of time. But now he could move across the country whenever a team calls at whatever point in time. To help him prepare for this change, O'Connell has been reaching out to former teammate David Blau, who's continued to be with him every step of the way. I've been texting him, blowing up his phone, just asking questions and stuff. And he's um, kind of done the same with me, just even when I don't reach out, he'll reach out to me and ask if I have any questions or anything. So he's been a great friend, a uh, great mentor, and just helped me kind of go through everything. O'Connell says he's thankful for the support throughout this new journey, and he wouldn't be in this position without the people in his life backing him up 24-7. Looking back on his journey, O'Connell says he wouldn't change anything. Although, if he could turn back the clock and tell his younger self one thing, it would be this. Probably that it, it'll pay off. Um, all the stuff that I was doing was going to pay off when I was younger. I, I did a lot of extra work and extra film study and extra practice, whatever it may be. So just being able to tell my younger self that there's there's light at the end of the tunnel, um, that, that you're working towards something.